Hello folks, once again, welcome back to Roots Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys how I do my tuna steaks. As you guys know from of me previously, I normally soak my, my meat, but I didn't soak my um, tuna for 20 minutes. I just wash it with a little bit of lime just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And I season this with just herbs. As you can see, I have Oregon, fresh Oregon, um, fresh parsley, and I have garlic crushed and olive oil. A little bit of black pepper and a little bit of seasoning salt. And you can see, and you can smell the aroma of the herbs in this, this salmon, okay? And all I need for this, you don't need too much of seasoning for, for tuna steak. Basically, you need a little bit of lemon, just a little bit of red onions. Of course, I have a little bit of seasoning here. I'm going to use a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just about a half a teaspoon, just to get a little, little bit of tangy flavor and a little bit of rice wine. So I'm going to go to the stove, show you guys how I do this. I'm going to use the same olive oil that this was soaking in, in the pot. So we get all that nice juice and flavors that have been released from the seasoning with the garlic and everything. So I'm just gonna put it in the pot here. And my stove is already on. Because I like to have my stove preheated before I get there. So I don't waste too much time. So I'm just gonna take all the little bit of bits and pieces of the herbs and just put it into the pot to kind of it's not the flavors running here. Mmm, it smells nice. Oh God, it smells delicious, guys. Like I said to you guys previously, smell -a vision should be invented. And I think I'm going to be one who is going to venture out and do this. Invent smell -a vision Because this onions and herbs smell so amazing. It smells beautiful. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm just going to put this um, red onion in the pot. I don't want to get it too, too soft. But I just want to have it, get it just to release the, the juices too. So I'm going to just kind of soften that up together. And guys, I'm going to use a little bit of rosemary, the fresh rosemary. More of a herby taste. We don't want to put too much of harsh seasoning because salmon steak is a very delicate thing and you want to have it just more of a gourmetish way. I'm just going to let that sit just for a few minutes. We don't want to make it cook too much so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take these steaks and these are about four ounce steaks each piece and it's going to give it enough space in the pot. And we don't want to cook these too, too much. We don't want to dry these salmon steaks out. So what we're going to do, we're just going to have it for about three minutes, four minutes on each side. And it doesn't have to cook right through. Because one of the meats we can eat raw is fish. Not all fish, but salmon, um, not salmon, I'm sorry. Tuna steak is one of them. So you're just going to saute it, like, you know, just... But three minutes on each side. You don't want to go too too dry. You don't want to dry it or fry it. Let's get all that juice out. Okay. You can just look at the side and you can see it's starting to get brown to the bottom. Not brown, but just turning the color. So we're just going to flip that over like this. Not going to let it cook too, too much. 
Just going to flip them now. And we are going to cook these for pretty much the same amount of time, about three minutes on the other side. I'm just going to grab me a spatula, guys. I want to, I want to get all the little juices that have been released from the salmon and the onions in this pot. I don't want to waste anything. This is really, really good flavor. size guys so we don't want to cook it too much you see pretty much the same amount on each side and what we are going to do now we are going to put just about one teaspoon of rice wine you measure this one teaspoon of rice wine and you can turn your stove up a little bit just for that If you want to use a little more, it's okay, but one teaspoon is just about enough. And about pretty much the same amount of the balsamic vinegar. And this gives your, your tuna fish a really, really nice flavor. So, hope you guys have this if you guys are going to do this. And a pretty much about the same amount of lemon juice. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. I'll just turn it over again. And you see all the rosemary. Just let it infuse into the oil. Give it that nice flavor. Oh my goodness, if you guys could only smell this and taste it. You can actually do a little tiny bit of salt to be in here. You don't want to make our food too salty, but um, this could do a little bit of salt. Just a tad bit. And of course my Italian herb, little bits in here. And folks, you might think this is not cooked, but trust me, this is done. You don't want to cook it with your tuna too much. It will dry out on you and you wouldn't have that nice soft, look at that, you see how nice and soft this is? You don't want to get it hard. So this is pretty much done. Mm. So folks, we're done with this recipe. We're done with this because it's gonna go plate it. We are going to go plate our yeah, I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put a little bit of this to the bottom of the plate. Just you could just decorate it with anything you want, a little bit of red cabbage. And I'm just gonna rest the steaks here. And folks, I'm going to serve this with a little bit of, I made a little bit of um, sweet potatoes earlier. Mm. 
I'm going to serve it with sweet, some sweet potatoes. You don't want to go too heavy with this. You want to use this with something very, very light. So just a few sweet potatoes and some vegetables. Very, very soft with this. And this will be very, very filling. You don't need to have a whole bunch of rice and all of that. And all you do, you take a little bit of this gravy, all that wine, you just put on it, just, just like that. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. And you just put a little garnish right here. A little bit of fresh parsley on your tuna. You can eat these parsleys, you know. Folks, this was very simple. You see how simple that was? Try this, guys. Look at that. You see how soft? You see, look at the tuna. You see? It shouldn't be too dried out, just soft and moist. Delicious, guys. Please try this, guys. It's very easy. Very tasty. This is the end of the show today. Please, if you like this recipe that I've just shared with you, please give a thumbs up. Do not forget to comment. And please do not forget to subscribe to Roots Gourmet Kitchen and share with your friends. Talk to you later, bye for now. See you again.